exactly. No, <laughs> I must confess, I am a miserable pumpkin too, because I don't like the grey weather, and we've had a lot of cloud today, a bit of brightness in places, but overall, skies that looked like this. And we've had some rain as well. This was Clacton earlier this afternoon. You can see some large puddles, and these pictures were taken at Cromer on the North Norfolk coast. You can see some rather impressive waves there underneath the pier. Cromer seeing 7.2 millimetres of rain, so almost a centimetre in the last 24 hours. And I can show you that rain on the radar sequence. Here it is. But over the last few hours, it has started to pull out into the North Sea, leaving us with a largely dry night. And despite the fact we've had more cloud and rain around today, we've had temperatures reaching similar values to yesterday when we had more sunshine. Cromer being one of the places that reached 10 Celsius, which is 50 degrees Fahrenheit. So overnight tonight, we lose most of the showers and it becomes largely clear and underneath these cloudless skies, my goodness, it is going to be a chilly one. We could see temperatures lower than these values, down to around minus three to minus four in sunspots. So that means a fairly widespread frost and where we've got some surface water, potentially some patchy ice as well, with the winds eventually becoming a mainly light southwesterly. So Wednesday, we've still got this front pushing towards us from uh, the west, but then this one rattling up from the south, and it's this one that's set to bring us some rain during tomorrow evening. So the bulk of Halloween during daylight hours is looking fine and dry with a good deal of sunshine after a cold and frosty start for many of us, but it will be milder tomorrow after that chilly start to the day. We're looking at southerly winds and highs of around 12 or 13 degrees Celsius. 13 is 55 degrees Fahrenheit. But it's during tomorrow evening that we're expecting that weather front to push this thicker cloud and some outbreaks of rain up from the south. So something to bear in mind if you're trick-or-treating or if you have an outside Halloween party. And then as we head into Thursday we have two fronts merging and then this little feature moves eastwards. Now its speed will determine our weather but at the moment it looks like we could have some early brightness in the extreme east but then a lot of cloud and rain for much of the day. Perhaps further west where we'll see some brighter weather coming through and perhaps some sunshine but for us here in the east I think probably remaining rather cloudy even if we lose the rain. And temperatures on Thursday between about 9 and 12 degrees Celsius with light winds eventually becoming northwesterly in direction. So that's Thursday. Friday is looking fine and dry after another cold and frosty start. And then Saturday, when I spoke to you yesterday, we we're expecting some wet and windy weather. Looks now like most of the rain will avoid us and stay to the north and west, but it still could be quite windy. So something we'll keep an eye on because I expect there'll be quite a few fireworks displays on Saturday that the wind speed will affect. And then Sunday, perhaps those winds easing down a touch, but it's looking fine and dry. And those conditions should continue into the middle of next week. And after this chilly night tonight of minus three to minus four the next really cold one is thursday night temperatures of zero perhaps a bit lower Ooh. see you in a little bit